Happy day, friends. I feel like it is very ironic and almost maybe a sign or at least something to keep our eyes open and keep our minds open. Um, I know last vlog we just finished talking about how this house that we've had our eye on for a long time is our number one and we don't really feel like there's a point in looking anymore. We're a walking contradiction. <laughs> because until like no, nothing has topped this house. However, we stumbled upon a house that is in a great location. It seems like it will be big enough to host everything we need as far as bedrooms and space and plenty of space for our studio and our work area. And there is an open house today. And so we decided, you know, yeah, let's, it, it, would, it would be silly of us to at least not go check it out. So we are going to see another house today. Um, I'm kind of excited about it. I feel like it's the closest we've seen that might actually trump our number one house right now. So it's exciting and it's obviously an existing home. So as far as the timeline goes, we could get into this house much sooner than if we were to wait for the other home to be built. Um, which is definitely a plus, definitely exciting. So yeah, that's what we are doing today. I'm super pumped about it. Like it, it seems like, I don't know, it happens over and over again. Maybe you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. Maybe it's just me. It seems like whenever I feel like I'm in a tough spot or trapped or stuck or something like that, um, something comes along that gives me a little bit of clarity or hope or something that just like keeps you going, you know what I mean? In the meantime, we have been playing and having cartoon Saturday. That's what we do, or that's what Austin loves to do with the girls on Saturday Dude, mornings. just looking to get in the mom's and closet. play, get spun on the bed, oh, okay. and go into mom's closet. Yeah. <laughs> Three. Woohoo! They are like hit or miss lately. The novelty is worn off. They were laughing hysterically about 10 minutes ago. And now they're just fighting for it. Who's ready to go see a new house? <laughs> Mike is, Mike is. Is Paige ready? Paige is ready. She's, she's running to the she's door. She's nodding her head, yes. I'm not ready. Uh, yeah, Austin's not ready, but we still have like an hour. I'm just trying to get them excited so that when we, when it is actually time to go, they're like, okay, yeah, let's do it. And so far it's working. Everyone clean up doctor tools so that we can have a clean house when we get back from the big new house. <gasps> Look, Micah, there's a band-aid. Micah was just telling me that she loves the new house and she wants to stay there and she wants us to buy it. But we haven't even seen it yet, silly. We gotta go look at it first. Is that a good idea? It's a with all our houses. What? All the houses. All the houses? Are we gonna go to all the houses? Just one, just one today. And we're, and we're gonna look at it. we have a little treat. A little treat? Oh my gosh, so the first time we went to an open house, the lady had candy there, and she gave Micah a piece of candy. And so anytime we go to a new house, Micah expects a treat. All right, let's clean up in here. I seriously want to like get this house spotless before we leave so that when we come back it doesn't feel so no! sad. Who's ready? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Can you even see little Micah Moo? Micah, please be careful if you can't see. Okay. Okay, maybe the other way is a good idea. Yeah, good idea. Are you going to wear dad's hat all day? Are you going to wear dad's hat all day? Yeah. Okay, cool. Spend a little bit of a dad's girl today. Yep, daddy's girl. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Good job. All right, let's get out of here. Let's Yeehaw! go. Yeehaw! Let's go see a house. Okay, let's go see your room, Paige. Oh, look, Micah found the playroom. Whoa. This is the playroom. No, this is the playroom right here. You don't get this your own room for a lot. playroom. Where's all the toys? Where's all the toys? Walk in closet. Are you gonna hide? Yeah. Okay, are you Batman? Yeah. Okay, Batman. You guys hide. Batman, you got your cave? Yep, they found their okay. bat cave. Hide in there. Don't turn the light off. I want them to stay in there. Okay, hide in there. 
Wait till we come find you. I got all your parenting hacks, okay? <laughs> nice she bathroom. She has a built-in bidet, I'm sold. Oh, nice. It's pretty, nice and white and neutral. No light bulbs in the center, <laughs> maybe it was too bright. <laughs> sold. What's over here? So this looks like it would be kids' rooms. Two rooms, no master bathroom connected. My, Paige, come hide in this closet. Where's come the hide in here. In here. Over up. here. Where's the back cave? Okay, girls. All right. Hide in there. Bye bye. Oh gosh, maybe. <laughs> They're having fun. Okay, this is the master bedroom. Beautiful views, you guys. Have a moment. <sighs> I'm having a moment. Oh, I'm having a moment. I That's know. Right. Isn't that beautiful? And these big windows. Like, wow. That's pretty gorgeous. Let's check out the bathroom. Pretty, very pretty. Very pretty. Got our tub, got a shower. Big walk in closet for mommy and daddy. And a big walk in closet for. You didn't have that triangle right there in your view. <laughs> Yeah, but from over here, getting ready in the morning, like that's pretty awesome. What are your thoughts? Oh, and the toilet. Daddy, mommy, little babies. Okay, babies, you crawl. You crawl and you don't go anywhere. Okay, babies. Sad as it is, I think I'd still get a little claustrophobic in here with you. Get over here, get away from me. Whatever. <laughs> Well, the house is great, but looking down in the basement, it's it's not as good as the other layout that we've been looking at. It's not as not as I guess compatible for what we need, or not as usable. I guess sorry, Paige. Just not as good of a layout in the basement. Not as good as I thought it would be. So ultimately, unfortunately, this is not as good as the other home we're looking at. I was very hopeful, but here's the thing, you guys. At least now I know that I can be confident in the other in the other choice, you know what I mean? Now I know that this isn't the house. I would have hated if we didn't come and see it and always wondered, like, well, that could that have been the one? Um, but, oh, but I know now that this is not the one. So I wanted to just let everybody know. Um, I know it seems like it feels like we just got back from a break. Um, sometime over the next week or two, I will be flying to North Carolina. Unfortunately, my grandmother passed away. Um, we don't know yet if Austin and the girls are gonna go with me. We're just waiting to hear details and everything, uh, but I for sure will be going. So sometime this next week or two, um, I will be away and we just don't know what that looks like as far as like posting goes um mainly letting you guys know for uh men try and ladies and lattes because <laughs> because we just got back from a long break and now i don't know if we're gonna have to miss a week or not but um my grandma was 99 years old she lived a very long full life she was able to talk with and see all of her kids before she passed. Um, thankfully, Austin and I were able to take the girls to visit last year. Um, and so she was able to meet both of our girls and and she was and she was ready. Um, you know, when you get to be ninety nine years old, I'll just say this. like, yes, I am sad and I will miss her and you know we have a lot of memories together um, I am okay my family's doing okay when you get to be 99 years old you know it's expected at some point you know death is part of life and and 99 years old that is a awesome awesome milestone um so just kind of wanted to uh, let you guys know that and talk about it just so it's like not a shocker um i don't know i just i just felt like i should say something so that is what's going on um i heard paige crying did you hear her yeah i did girls are getting up they took a late nap today the house walkthrough took a little bit longer than we expected we went and visited a friend afterwards 
And so uh, they got a late nap, but man, I'm kind of bummed about the house too. I was hoping it was gonna be the answer to our housing issue that we're doing dealing with, but um, I, in a way, it just, it answers the question, well, okay, well, we'll keep looking or we'll it keep waiting. Yeah, it just solidifies it for us. Bring your chair over here, I have a surprise. A surprise that will make everybody happy. This. What do you think we could make on this? I don't know. Hmm. I have an idea. What are those? Cookies. Cookies. Should we make some cookies? Cookies. Is that a good idea? Um. We don't eat them. We don't eat them yet, you're right. We have to wait till we cook them. Looks like somebody got into this cookie dough though. Who could that have been? Do you think there's maybe a mouse in our house? Yeah, the, the, the mouse's mouse. name was Mom. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead and open it. And I'll put this down. And I'll put this down. Okay. I'll put that, with that. Now we can put some cookies on here. Can put this one on there. And put this one on there. You're doing a great job. Are you sure? They look so yummy. I'm not eat them yet. Okay, we'll wait till we cook them. About just a little tiny bit. Well, we, have to cook. we have to cook it first. Okay. Here you go. I'm happy. Mom, how do Okay, we'll do two more. Mom, how do make a bagel? Here you go. Mom, how do make a bagel? <laughs> What? What's wrong? Was something wrong? No. Okay, good. Okay. I think we need to we need to spread them out a little bit more. See how these are all kind of close to each other and this one's way over here. Let's go like this. Alright, I think they're ready to cook. Be careful, okay? Look, Paige, I got you one too. There's a cookie, it's a little bit warm. Maybe blow on it first. Okay, good job with your Batman. Okay, it might be a little bit hot. Is it good? Have you ever had a chocolate chip cookie before? I don't know if you have. Can you say chocolate? Chocolate. Yummy. How'd we do? Did we make them good? Thanks for your help. Chocolate. Yeah. All right, guys. I think, uh, you know, I think I'm going to call it a day. I think I am dealing with grief, even though, I don't know. Grief is a weird thing. And... I, I'm still like processing everything and 
I can feel myself at times wanting to cry and then I can feel myself at times being totally okay and like not even thinking about it and I just feel like I'm in a spot right now that I need to just think, you know what I mean? Okay, one more, okay Micah? <laughs> one more and then mom's gonna cook dinner or I'm just gonna order dinner out because honestly I'm not feeling like making anything other than cookies. <laughs> One more cookie for Paige. Ooh, look at you. Here you go. So while Austin finishes up some work, I am going to make sure they're good. And I don't know, maybe I'll hit the gym or something. Just that's the best way for me to like reduce stress is just move my body. And I feel like that's what I kind of need to do right now. So I <sighs> hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I know it's, you know, these things happen and I know our vlog is something that a lot of you watch to put a smile on your face and I really hope that this did still. Um, it's just, we like to be real with you guys. We don't like to make everything seem perfect or great. You know what, there's a lot of highlight reels in our vlog but um, there are also days like today. Um, so, <sighs> I don't know, I feel like I'm just rambling on. But we hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today and we we will be posting regularly on our vlog still. Um, you know, I feel good enough, at least right now, that I don't I don't need an actual break from it. And I think honestly it will be good for me. So um, so we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye friends. friends. Love you.